Arthur is uh, actually the opposite of um, uh, uh, Wicked Wiki in um, Pride and Prejudice. He's very, uh, he's a little stouter, I would say, strangely, as am I, uh, a little older. Um, he, Arthur Conan Doyle is uh, um, a sort of champion, really. He champions this uh, young man, George Angie, who's uh, been accused of this terrible crime, mm -hmm. slitting open horses' bellies. And, and uh, based on a true story, and he um, devotes himself to proving George Angelji's innocence, which he did in reality. And so he's sort of constructed a bit like a kind of Sherlock Holmes thriller, I suppose. Um, but it's a true story. Yes. So um, yes, very, very. I mean, he's he's a good man. Conan Doyle uh, is a man of high principle, and George Wickham, who you just referred to, was obviously a man of very low principle. Um, and uh, it's great to be. It's actually great to be back in Nottingham. No, really, it's lovely. No. Right, challenges of playing Arthur Conan Doyle. Uh, well, in this particular play, um, they're actually just acting aside. It's mm. just been an enormous amount to learn. I mean, mm. an enormous, it's an enormous part, and therefore frightening because there's so much of it is plot, and you know, it's a thriller. So it's not very much to do with how he feels about anything. It's come on, we must. You know, they've got this new piece of evidence, and so it's been quite complicated to to learn and to work on. Um, he's Scottish, I hope. I'm trying to make him as Scottish as I can. Um, and um, uh, have there been any other great challenges? I wouldn't say particularly beyond, beyond the sheer sort of pressures of trying to learn the part. Well, trying to get to grips, not learning, it's trying to get to grips with a part of this size.